Hello and welcome to another supplement to the materials for Yukon CAMS 1103 Classical Mythology. This supplement is about Orpheus and I'm going to show you a clip from a movie called Immortal Beloved which came out, oh I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago now and it was about the life of Beethoven, the very sad life of Beethoven. And the reason that I think it makes a very good comparison for Orpheus is what you'll see the director of this movie doing um, a guy whose name is Bernard Rose, he's going to portray Beethoven's music as its own religion. And I think you'll be able to see this now that I've pointed it out in the imagery as you hear the incredible music of Beethoven's Missa Solemnis, which really notably is a mass that Beethoven wrote, which is much too long and much too big, requires many too many people ever to be, form ever to be performed in the context of an actual Catholic mass, which is what it's supposed to be for. So what you'll see in this clip is Bernard Rose picking up on that element of Beethoven, the way that music itself and a great composer like Beethoven himself can become its own religion so that a set of doctrines, the doctrines, well, of Romanticism in the case of Beethoven and the doctrines of the Orphic Bible and of Orphism and the Orphic Mysteries in the case of Orpheus in ancient Greece, all of those things can flow from music. Orpheus is a sort of musical hero and his cult is a kind of musical cult and the same thing happens throughout history, notably here with Beethoven.
himself off from the world, they called him hostile. They said he was unfeeling and called him callous. But he was not hard of heart. It is the finest blades that are most easily blunted, bent or broken. One of you. 